Hello guys, hello and welcome back to another episode of FTB Infinity and today we are going to finish everything about applied energetics. Yes, in this episode we want to finish uh, everything what considering the AI and uh, the thing that we need to do is actually to make those inscribers, uh, then to make those chargers, and the last one is the super bottle. So uh, I've made this entrance. Um, it's nothing pretty, but yeah, it will do. It will do. And oh, there's a creeper. Oh, there's actually a lot of creepers. How is that possible? I need to actually craft a lot more, a lot more those magnum torches or whatever it is. So, yeah, uh, we want this room to be completely dedicated to uh, charging and inscribing and all those other stuff. So, uh, what do we want to do? And yes, actually. Uh, keyble. There is transforming double keyble camouflage. Yes, and uh, I want to just try it. So it's wool. We got plenty of wool like that. Oh, does need to be like a special wool or? Oh, Red Bull. We do not have a Red Bull. So... Red, Red, Red. Um, do we have... I want 100. Like so. Great. And we want this Gable Camouflage. Oh, what we are missing now? The Green Wool. Uh, never mind, so how this works? Not like that. Um, I actually do not know how this works. Uh, so, doesn't matter. We will use the normal cables. I'm not picky about that one. So. We want to have keyballs, we've got plenty of those, and we want to dump this. So, uh, first thing, we need the inscribers, so we want one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So for each one we want uh one inscriber and the way oh hello creeper and the way i had it in our old base was that i actually imported the all those uh silicons into each one uh this time i will have let me just interface we want three of those and one two three of those so I uh, will actually and yeah I can hello skeleton and I can actually have like bam 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 so I can have Full inventory, of course. Uh, do skibbles like so. And now I actually can have like those three interfaces right here. And one, two, three, right here. And we want the. Yeah, and we actually want. Okay, um, uh, 
I think we'll do it all in the back. So no. Uh, we want this guy right here and we want one more interface like so so uh, the first one is actually this row and yeah uh, we've got these silicon presses so we're gonna have those in place and now we want to have these engineering press the calculation press and the logic press so for the in press uh, processor Um, how the, uh, they are called? Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know. So we've got engineering processor, diamond and redstone. Okay, so this is the engineering press. So for this guy, we want to have we want to have this pattern right here, and we want to import from this interface to um to this guy and this and this guy so uh, we want to have a trigger and we want to create a flow and two five outputs like so so you've got the trigger and the flow and we want to create the input for the first one and actually I will do it like so so we want to input from no this is bad positioning uh, we want to input from oh so this is the two six one nine oh minus ten two seven two so it's two six one nine one seven two it's this one yes it's this one so we want to input from this one target down whatever items whatever and we want to output those into well we want to have a flow um well let me just do it a little bit off camera and uh then i will show you how to do it properly all right guys so i actually decided to um, put all those inscribers separately so we can easily determine what the inscribers uh, are for what so uh, i already made those two um and we are going to do the third one together so we've got a simple setup right here we've got a chest uh, it's the input chest for all those items so we can put here a silicon gold and the redstone so right here we've got the ME interface this is our output so for the first one uh, we want to create a trigger and now we want to create input and output uh, and we want to create a flow so we want to set up the flow for split five outputs and we now can connect those two together and for the first one we want to have input from the chest target doesn't matter in this case and we want the whitelist silicon 
Uh, okay, so now uh, that we have this input it in this machine, we want to output it into our inventory. Uh, this this the uh, uh, <clears throat> this is the top one, as you can see the y coordinates. Uh, we want to have a target north, or actually we can have down uh, and the item want to have for just for sure silicon just to be sure that only silicon will get into it great so in the first one we should see a silicon but we are not seeing silicon so yeah uh, we want to actually go to uh, north I guess it's the north yeah so we want to target the north uh, for the next one, uh, we want to create an input and an output again. And the first input will actually be items gold. Target doesn't matter. And inventory is chest. And we want to output it. And we want inventories. We want the lowest one. Uh, we want target north activate uh, and we want items gold okay so all should be set now as you can see we are printing the logic circuits uh, for the third one it's actually a little bit tricky but uh, we want to create a command group and we want to create a group node like so and we want to create to input mode and we want to drop it right here great so right now what we can do we can actually click in this and we've got this little new window where we can have more commands so right now we want to create a flow control again with five connections and for a, we will actually use only three, but it doesn't matter. And for the first one, we want to create input output. For the second one, input output. And for the third one, input output. So, right now, first input, we want to take the silicon from uh, the west. Uh, I guess it's west. I need to double check it. Uh, input uh, silicon is yes. Yeah, silicon is the last one. Uh, target. Oh, it's actually south. So we want to target south. Activate, and we want whitelist printed silicon. Great. And now we can output it. Uh, inventory is we want the middle one uh, target is uh, I'm not sure but it's south or target is up actually okay so the target is up and items are sprinted silicon great so we've got the silicon one um we can actually rename it rename it like input silicon output silicon so now we want a redstone so we will name it redstone okay so we want inventories we want the chest target as matter and item redstone <clears throat> okay and we want to output it and we want target uh target is i'm not sure but it's south let's just double check uh item yeah it's south and uh, target is out and items whitelist redstone bam like that and we want the middle one again 
and for the last input it's the gold or it's not a gold but you know uh the input is this inscriber the lowest one target is uh south or no north uh just let me double check south it's actually south activate and item is skull no it's uh what is it logic it's logic so item law i'm not writing logic circuit great and we want to output it inventories this inscriber target i guess it's down uh item logic okay super duper so now we can connect those two together and we can connect this one and we should eventually do we have connected those two no we do not have so if we connect those we can see we are printing the logic processors great so great job and the last thing that we need to do is we actually want to create input and output those two and we want to input from uh just first whitelist input the uh, logic processor and the target i guess it uh, it doesn't matter but just let's do south inventories bam like that and we want to output it inventories me interface items logic processor great so now yes it imp it inputted all the items actually so now if we take a look this should input right here great so if we test it let's grab gold and i want to do this back gold redstone silicon like so so if we put those three in the chest let's see we are printing successfully 24 25 26 yes so that's all done and we can now uh cover this up and uh, move on actually so right now what we want to do is to actually do a chargers so let's just put those chargers here and i think uh we will do it like that and we want to have one two three four five well actually uh one two three it's one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven so it's fourteen one two three four five six seven it's twenty one and let's oh i do not have my magnet on so let's grab the last one and let's do one two three four five six okay so we've got all those okay some fps drop let's just wait a minute okay i guess it's a right now so we've got all those chargers and we want to take the cables like that like that like that okay 
and the last cable well i guess if we are doing like this it doesn't matter so we can put um i do not have the last okay we are falling now a lot i actually do not have the last one that i need so let's go back and put it oh right here i guess and now we want the me interface like so and actually we want to power up those machines like that so do we have a uh, energy yeah it's going down so i will just quickly put here the energy acceptor and the test rack so yeah so we've got the energy that's okay so we want the sir the squads those crystals and we want to put them right here so now what we want to do is to actually take um those uh we need two interfaces actually interface um and we want to have this one full of those great so what we want to do now is to create a trigger like that we want to create input and output it's very simple we want to oh we want need a low control with two outputs like that so for this we want to have uh, input and output like so well just connect it so input now uh, we want actually which one is upper this one uh, we want this one target I guess doesn't matter and whitelist the words okay certain quartz crystal and output we want uh, like so all the others all the chargers um, I guess doesn't matter white list certain uh, quartz crystal so if we do it like that we should see yep all those crystals are now charged and we want to right now input into this one so we want to create input and output like so and we want input inventories Bam, like so uh, all those chargers target I guess doesn't matter whitelist char char charged certain squad crystal and we want to output it in inventories and the lower one is this one target I guess doesn't matter and Charged, charge certain squads. So bam, like this, and we should see all those crystals charging up. Great, so it's happening. So last thing that we need to do actually is to go 
into our old base and we want to grab grab all those things like that and we do not have space let's just clear out our inventory a little bit oh yeah we can actually put some of those okay and we want to take all those all those growth accelerators okay so we can dump anything else into our system great so we want to go back to our base room and we want to go up here as you can see it's all charging up and this inventory should fill up completely 64 yes so that's that's okay and the last one is actually the super bot so we want to create a little bit of space so i guess right here okay we do not need this 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 so we want to take this those growth accelerators and actually i want to place them like that let me just give a stone okay so now we've got the growth accelerators and we want to have um i guess right here the ME interface ME interface where are you? right here so on actually on this level like so why do I have my chisel in my hand so like that or actually we want to have it one over and now we can take a cable and we want the formation formation plate yeah and uh, by the way i will put all those in a place so we can actually have a bit more room and uh, yeah so now what we want to do is to have an ME interface a small one like so and I've got some FPS lag so let's just wait a minute all right guys so I figure out the FPS drop and hopefully it's okay Okay, right now and uh, what we want to do is to connect those in here and we want to power just power this I mean, interface and right now we can take the glass like that and we can put it all the way up so now if uh, block placement drop as item so now if we are about to actually appear um, 
here. If we drop some items right here, oh, it doesn't have a power, so yeah, but if we if we were about to drop something into uh the semi interface, uh it will actually drop all the items there. Let's just take um I need to take it with my uh where's my ender pouch? Mm, yeah. So I want to charge this like that. So if we uh, were about to put power in here and uh, we want to Oh yeah, I need to turn off my magnet so you can see it dropped them all down. So yeah, it dropped them all down. So that's great. Uh so we've got all the stuff that we need and one last thing that we need to do actually is put the transfer node uh with this this and this and we actually do not need so much in here so yeah now it can actually pick up those items and we want to run it into the emmy interface great so okay guys so now our system is completely set up uh we have the inscribers we've got the chargers and we've got this super bottle so we just need a water bucket uh where's actually a wireless terminal bucket and we don't have a water so i will place the water here lately but yes uh we are done here guys so hopefully you've learned something today because i wanted to show you how to do all those stuff through the um steve factory manager so yeah hopefully you've learned something uh today and hopefully uh, you liked the video if you did please leave a like uh, it's always appreciated and uh yeah comment uh, do comment and uh yeah by the way this video is uh i guess after the live stream so hopefully you've joined the live stream and uh yeah have a nice day thanks you for watching and see you next time